Now, how many times did you take the FE exam? <gasps> okay. <laughs> I took the FE 11 times. 11 times. How does that make you feel saying that out loud? I feel free now. Because at the beginning, I like when I first saw the um, testimonial videos, I was like, I'm not going to do this. Because at the time I was taking it like several times, but I knew that it was a person that was just like me that wanted to overcome and to never give up. So now that you have your EIT and it's official, you pass your FE exam. How do you feel about that? I feel amazing because my job is secure. That's, <laughs> That's one reason why I feel amazing. <laughs> um. And yeah, just, you know, another stepping stone or another step is my PE license. I I had gotten my first job in 20, 2013, and then I was working for about eight years at my one company. And then, then um, COVID hit, and then, you know, I was let go. And then I thought that the reason why they let me go was because I didn't have my EIT. And I was, I was just really bummed and actually just down about it for quite a, quite a while. So then that year when I was just trying to like recoup from that rejection, I was like, okay, let me, let me prepare and take my EIT again. And that was seven years after last taking it. So that was that was last year that was last year okay so you were at a job for eight years and then you you still got laid off during covid yeah yeah wow like i looked at my email and you know you get that email now i guess saying you got the badge and then i it was like an audible scream i was like i screamed and i started you know i just i just i was i was very 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 happy and relieved i called my sisters who were very supportive of the whole process and just really instrumental in you know helping me stay on track um and I started crying, and then I told my mom. It, it was it was it was a really emotional time, um, but still really you know happy. I was really really happy. That's awesome. Day. And I I can be very studious, but I'm not very consistent. <laughs> mm. So yeah, so with the amount of of knowledge we need to know and the amount of subjects and sub subjects we need to cover. I, I got a little overwhelmed by myself. Okay. And so that's when I started seeking, um, you know, I, does anybody tutor? Does anybody, you mm -hmm. know, do you have any tips for me? Uh, and then of course, back, back in, I guess, 2017, 2019 times, uh, you became a little popular on YouTube <laughs> <laughs> in the engineering world. Uh, so that was helpful too. Um, it it kind of helped self-pace the way that I like, but mm -hmm. also have some guidance in how to um, study the subjects. I mean, I could open a textbook, which I did. I have almost all my textbooks mm -hmm. and go chapter by chapter, but that just takes way too long, you know, it, it, for the amount of time you should study for the test. So, um, yeah, then I started seeking, okay, well, there's prep courses out there. Maybe I could, you know, look into mm -hmm. one. Um, so, but then I, I, you know, got into the, it was too fast paced for me. Um, yeah. I needed something slower, um, but also with guidance. So that's, that was the, I guess the transition I needed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did passing the FE affected your life so far? Affected your career in any? Yes, way? um, in in my career, yes. I mean, I I, uh, I let them know I had and I hadn't told anybody. I didn't tell anybody I was taking the test other than my husband. Wow. My parents didn't know. My family. Wow. Yeah. I just that's okay. I just didn't want the pressure. You know, yeah. I didn't tell work. I just I took the day off and I took the test. <laughs> 
so I told them, I said, hey, you know, I passed. And they're like, when did you take it? <laughs> well, <laughs> I told you I was taking the day off, but I, I went to go take it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but where, where, where we work, uh, they, they give bonuses or, or not bonuses, but raises, little raises if you, you know, get certifications uh, as an engineer. Um, so that'll help. Um, and of course, for me, I'm, I feel like a weight has been lifted, you know, for years, I've been carrying this, I, I need to pass that test, I have to study for the test, studying, I'm out of college, I shouldn't be studying anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so if a student comes up to you and asks, uh, asks you to list three things that really helped you pass your FE exam, what would you say to them? Um, my faith. Um, self-discipline and motivation. I would say perspective, patience, and perseverance. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, you know, like I had to, I didn't mention this, but like I had to put myself in the difficult situation of like not working, which was is difficult, especially in this economy. But you know, you, I, I was putting myself under a huge amount of pressure uh, to attain the 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 the, the credential. So, but I don't know if that was necessary. Like it was good for me, but it really tested my patience because. Again, I had to recognize that it doesn't happen overnight and it will take some time. So I had to persevere through my my patience too, you know? Like, it's okay, just be patient with yourself. Um, you'll get it. Um, and yeah. You know, Jeannie Prep helped a lot. Um, I think you need to find how you study best. Um, and if that's fast paced and quick, you just want to get it over with, then, you know, you do that route. But if you you really want to take the time and actually learn the concepts that you're going to be, you know, making a career out of, <laughs> then, I mean, this this was was probably the best for me. Um, so um, finding the right study material and, and um, pace is probably the first thing. You're the only person who knows yourself, you know. <laughs> um, another thing would be uh, consistency, of course, taking the time out of your very busy day and allocating it to yourself. Because the only thing this is, the only person or the only, um, you know, uh, yeah, the only person to benefit from passing a test is you, you know, um, and you and your professional goals. So taking the time for yourself, you're investing in yourself, you know. Um, and let's see, the third thing would probably be to find something to motivate you in doing the work. Oh, yeah.